Hey, kindergartners. Today we are talking about talking and singing voice and we're doing some listening. So what voice am I using right now? Engine, engine, number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? That was my talking voice. Now I'm gonna use my singing voice and you can sound how it is different. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? And that was my singing voice. So now I'm gonna have you listen to two different songs. Well, actually only one of them is a song. Um, but I'm going to have you listen to two different audios and you have to think about are the people using a talking voice or are they using a singing voice? Okay, so listen. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to one and you want to have a little fun, you brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Okay, so what voice were they using in that piece? Were they using their talking voice or were they using their singing voice? Okay, now listen to this one and see which voice they're using here. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to one and you want to have a little fun, you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to two and you want to find something to do, you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to three and your mind starts humming, twiddle dee dee, you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to four and you think you hear and stop it right there. Okay, so which voice were you hearing in that song? Was that a talking voice that they were using or was that a singing voice? And if you said singing voice, you are correct. Okay, this is something that we did in Seesaw. It was an assignment in Seesaw last week, and I thought it would be fun to just review it and start out our listening portion of music class. So if you have a scarf or something that you can um, throw in the air, that you can shake, go and find that. And we're going to do it along with the music. So the first movements will be shaking the scarf up and down, up and down. The second movement is bug in a rug, which means you're putting it on your head and you can just leave it like this. 
or you can take it off and keep putting it back on. And then the last movement at the very end will be you throwing it up as high as you can and catching it, okay? And I will do the movements along with you so you know when to switch from each one, okay? So here we go. job everybody and I know you got some practice doing that last week so that's really fun. I have two other things for us to listen to. This one here is a symphony orchestra and you can see all the different kinds of instruments. I see some violins, I see some cellos, I see a drum, okay? So we're going to listen to this and now you get to make up what Ever movement that you want to do with your scarf or just with dancing. Okay, I'm going to use my scarf and you can use whatever you find around your house. Okay, let's do some more listening. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I hope you came up some, with some really creative movements to do with that symphony. And we have one more, and this one is called Hungarian Dance by a composer named Brahms. And it is based on these, the movements of these Hungarian dancers that he saw. Okay, this one has a little bit of a different mood to it. So feel free to dance or use your scarf as well with this one. Take a bow. All right, good job, everybody. Okay, today we're talking also about something called an echo. So take a listen to this song about Little Sir Echo and think about what is an echo. <laughs> song, the one little boy's voice, he was being the echo to the other people. He would say exactly, sing exactly what they sang, but after them. And that is what an echo is in music. Now listen for the echoing instruments here. You will hear a violin, and then you will hear a flute echo exactly what the violin played. that echoing it's kind of like they're talking to each other okay I have a song for you as well it sounds like this bow wow wow whose dog art thou little Tommy Tucker's dog bow wow wow and once we learn this song there's a lot of musical things that we can learn from it and there's even a game with it so echo me, that means it's my turn. And then after I finish singing the line, then you be my echo. My turn. Bow, wow, wow, bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow, bow, wow, wow. Okay, let's try singing that whole song all together. Bow, wow, wow, whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog, bow, wow, wow. 
Okay. Another song that goes along with this one is Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from your home. Can you be my echo? Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from your home. Someone stole it from your home. Good job. And we will come back later and use these in games and other musical learning things, okay? Bye-bye, guys. I'll see you in the next lesson.